Okay, so once you have turned on manual payroll, you will then need to do the payroll setup. So I'm going to go to employees on the menu bar and then I'm going to go to payroll setup. This will start up a, a uh, wizard that guides you through setting up your entire payroll, including setting up employees. So we're going to hit continue and the first thing you're going to set up is any compensation and benefits for your your employees so we're going to click continue uh, you can say how you pay your employees if you're, you only have salaried employees or if you have hourly wage or if you have all three uh, or even commission tips and piecework uh, we're going to go uh, deselect salary and bonus and we are going to uh, leave it on just hourly so we're going to click finish and so notice we have created these items you if you have hourly employees, uh, you'll have an hourly item, and then if you if you have hourly empl employees and they make overtime, you see that overtime is one and a half times the regular rate, and then you even have a double time item, which you may or may not use. Click continue, and now we're going to set up any benefits that might be coming out of the paychecks or or that the company might be paying. For example, health insurance, if your company provides health insurance, um, life insurance, uh, health savings account, etc. So I'm going to click next there. And either the company pays for all of it or both, both the employee and the company pay portions. That's, that's more normal. And so we'll click next there. And then you need to choose who the payments are made to. Now this would be the insurance company or the the provider so we would go ahead and type in the name of the provider here okay so then you can also choose uh, put your account number with the uh, provider and also choose when you pay this liability this is going to go into a liability account whether it's withheld from the employees paychecks or paid uh, by the company so let's say we pay them monthly on the 15th of the month we're going to hit finish there. So we have set up two new items and health insurance for the company and health insurance for the employer, employee. What's withheld out of their paychecks and what we pay for health insurance. So we can click continue there and this is about retirement benefits if you have a retirement plan offered to your employees you could have one one of the mo most common ones you've heard of is the 401k so we can click next on there and the 401k we would um, need to pay the retirement company um, that's who we would owe the money to and again you can select uh, when you pay them if it's monthly uh, weekly annually etc so I'm going to choose annually and then I'm going to click finish and so now you have two items created for your retirement and one is for the employees withholding and one is for the amount that the company matches so we click continue uh, this is about paid time off do we um, give sick time and vacation time so we are going to check both sick time and vacation time. It's common benefits that employees have. So now we have created two items, one for hourly vacation time and hourly sick time. Then we click on continue. And if there's any other additions or deductions from our employees' paychecks that we need to create an item for, we would do so here. Uh, for example, wage garnishment might be a common one because there are wage garnishments because of child support orders. If you had that situation, you would probably choose wage garnishment. Maybe your employees have union, a union and they pay union, union, union dues um, and, or any other miscellaneous deductions. Donations to charity is a common uh, automatic payroll deduction. But anyway, we're not going to select anything here. We're going to hit finish. And in the next portion, we're going to look at the employee setup.